It's raining. The wet season has well and truly arrived. If you can see, it's, this is my neighbor's roof, but it's the best way to see how much it's raining. So yeah, the wet season is here and I work from home, so I have no motivation to go outside in this. Yeah. So I thought I would take this time to film a video um, that I've been wanting to make for a while about the Mexico City Metro. I get a ton of questions about the safety of it, how to use it in general. So yeah, let's have a little chat about using the Mexico Metro. So the first thing I recommend is getting this app called Mapway. And I'll show you what it looks like on my phone. If it'll focus. Right, so this app here is Mapway. And I'll just click on it. And the first thing you get when you open it is like the whole breakdown of the Metro system. Oh, and an ad, how do I? So the first thing you see when you open the app is the map. And it's super simple to use. Like you can zoom in on any of the lines. I use the blue line the most cause I live over here and, and I take it in unless I'm going to like Palenco, which is here, Auditorio, which is um, kind of like near Chapultepec Park. Um, but yeah, it's super simple. And then the other way that I like to use it is you can search for lines. It's not really focusing very well. You can search for a line. These are the obviously the ones that I use the most. Um, you could go from Cuatro Caminos, you can click route and you could go to pretty much any of them. I'll go to Balderas and it shows you, it shows you the fastest route. Um, and the simplest route, which is usually the um, the route that has the fewest changes. And the difference in time is so minimal. If you click to go to it, it'll show you what you need to, what um, station you need to change at, with the line number, the color, and um, where you'll get off. It's so easy. It even tells you how many stations you're gonna have to go through while you're on the Metro. Okay. So I definitely recommend getting this app when you're in the Metro stations you'll find that there aren't a ton of maps um, throughout the, the area. So if you're changing stations and you're not sure which direction uh, that you need to go in, it's a lot easier to have the app on your phone than it is to be wandering around the station trying to find like the one or two maps that are available. Um, so yeah, my next tip is to totally avoid rush hour if you don't need to be traveling during that time. Um, rush hour in the morning is between it could be it started really at seven and go until about nine thirty, um, probably until about nine. Nine thirty, you'll, you'll notice it's a, a little bit easier to travel during that time. And then in the evenings, it can start as early as four and go. I mean, I've been on the metro at eight o'clock, and it's it can still be pretty crazy, especially on a Friday. Um, so yeah, definitely avoid during rush hour if you don't have to do it. It is just it's insane. It's so busy. Um, something like 7 million people travel on the metro every single day and it feels like all of them are on the metro at the same time during rush hour, so just be aware of that. Um, my third tip is to get yourself a metro card. If you're going to be taking the metro more than like three or four times on your trip to Mexico City, it's definitely worth getting a metro card. You can pick them up at most stations, um, especially busy like popular stations like Hidalgo, Zocalo, um, yeah, pretty much any main station that you'll find yourself at, at the ticket counter. Um, it'll say taquilla or boletos over the top of the, the window. And you just go up and you say, uh, you know, una tarjeta por favor, like one card, card is tarjeta. I can put all of the translations down below for people that aren't sure about the Spanish. Um, and the, the card itself is 10 pesos. So you're paying 10 pesos for the card, which is really to um, Metro journeys. Each metro journey is five pesos. Um, however, the cards that you get, the paper tickets that you get when you get a ticket are so small. They're literally like, you know, this long and this wide. They're like tiny little things. They're super fiddly and easy to lose. Um, so if you're going to be using the metro um, for, for a long time, if you're going to be using it a lot while you're here, it's just so much easier to get a card. You can top it up with, I believe it's up to 120 pesos. I'm sure that someone will correct me in the comments. Um, but yeah, so you can top it up with more than enough money to last you for like a week in the city. Um, and when you have your card, you just tap it on the um, 
the turnstiles, there's like, you'll see like a little machine. And yeah, it's so much easier to have. You don't have to get in line every time you want to come to the Metro. If you're only going to be using the Metro for one day, um, just make sure that you get enough tickets to last you for the day. Each person needs one ticket. However, if you have a card, more than one person can travel on the card. So for instance, my boyfriend and I, we only have one card. Um, and I'll go, th you know, I'll tap it and I'll go through and then I'll hand it to him and he'll tap it and he'll go through. It takes the money off straight away. It doesn't matter how far you're traveling. It's always five pesos. So you don't have to tap out when you leave the metro station. So it's perfectly legal to share a card. Um, you know, I've done it in front of police officers before. Like it's, it is perfectly acceptable. Lots of people share cards. Um, so you don't have to get more than one. If say you're traveling with three people, you only need one card. There's no need to get three. The wind is blowing through the window and it is cold, you guys. The wet season doesn't usually come this early. Tip number four is about how to like navigate the metro. So say you're like in the Zocalo and you wanna go to Revolucion, um, how do you figure out which way to go? That's why I really recommend getting the Mapway app. I will um, put the link below for Android and iPhones so that you can just download it on your phone and get it traveling. The um, lines in the station and the direction that you're going to be going are labeled based on the stations at the end of each line. So for instance, um, the blue line, one end is Cuatro Caminos and the other end is Tasqueña, I believe. Um, so if you're in the Zocalo and you want to get to, uh, you want to get to Revolucion, you're going to want to get on the metro heading towards Cuatro Caminos. So that's why I said having the app is super important. So you can just have a quick look at the map and see which direction you want to go in. Um, yeah, it's super simple. Once you kind of get the hang of it and you have the, the app in your phone and you can check which way to go, like it's really hard to get lost. <laughs> it's pretty straightforward. There are a lot of lines. I think there's 12. Um, so it can be a little bit confusing about changing, but everything's clearly labeled, which is surprising. Um, but yeah, most stations are pretty clearly labeled as you're going through and you're changing to another line. Every line has a color, so I would look for the color of that line as well as the direction that you want to go in um, when you're changing stations so that you make sure that you're going the right way. You can't always trust the colors. Sometimes there's like a bit of a mix up between the line that you're coming from and the line that you're going to and the colors are like not correct. Um, but always make sure that you're looking for uh, the station that you want to go towards and you should be pretty good with that. So yeah, just some tips about safety, I guess. Um, as a woman traveling on the metro when I travel by myself, I always go into the women only cars. Every train has at least one, most have two cars that are just for women and children. Um, you'll look for, there's usually like a pink or orange sign um, at the very end or the very beginning of one of the train cars and it'll say mujeres, which is women, or damas. Um, so it's really easy to find them. It'll be the one with just women in it. Um, they're, especially during busy times, um, they're monitored by police officers, like at the stations to make sure that men aren't getting on. So um, I, can, I feel perfectly safe in those cars. They're very rarely super crowded because not as many women travel on the metro as men. Um, and then if you're traveling with someone else, like I travel with my boyfriend, we go into the regular cars, and I, I literally never feel intimidated. That's not to say it's not possible. There are situations that I've heard about where people, uh, women in particular, feel like they're being pressed up against or um, you know they feel uncomfortable. And if that's the case, then have your partner, your boyfriend, or the guys that you're traveling with stand like in the next car and you can travel in the women-only car. Um, yeah, or just won't take the metro. <laughs> like I said, avoid it during rush hour. This is also when you're most likely to be really pushed up against other people and, and when you really need to be aware of your stuff. Pickpocketing, like every busy city is a is a problem on the metro in Mexico. So just be aware of where your things are. Guys, don't put stuff in your back pockets. Like just don't do that. Keep your stuff in your front pockets. Keep your hands in your front pockets and you'll be fine. My boyfriend has never had a problem having his stuff stolen. Just, yes, it happens. Um, but if you're aware of your stuff, you're perfectly fine. Women, I always keep my stuff like in my bag, I keep it zipped up um, and I keep it on my lap when I'm sitting and if I'm not sitting, I keep my bag like on my shoulder and like pulled forward because the metro line does get busy, like it can get really busy and you'll have people like, 
you know, shoved up against you, you have your face in someone's armpit, like, that's, you know, that's the metro in every city, isn't it? Um, so yeah, just be aware of your stuff, be aware of what's happening around you, um, yeah, and oh, one more thing, you'll want to just be aware of, it's not like a safety issue, but there's lots of vendors selling stuff all day, every day on the metro, people will come through even when it's really busy and they'll be like, playing their music, kind of like shuffling through people, and uh, yeah, so that happens, it'd be playing music, selling CDs, selling nail clippers, and like workout bands, and phone cases, and phone chargers, and earphones, candy, um, you know, feel free to, to purchase things, um, the people around you will, and uh, yeah, just, just enjoy the journey, like it's not, it's not this crazy experience, if you've never been on a subway before, I can see how it's a little bit daunting, it's certainly not the cleanest, or the, the newest or the nicest metro system I've ever used, um, but it gets you where you need to go, it's very cheap, and when it's busy in the streets with cars, which it almost always is, it's the fastest way to get around the city. So yeah, my total advocate for Mexico City Metro, um, I recommend giving it a try if you're here and you want to get all the way across the city, um, especially like during the day when not many people are riding it. <laughs> If you have any more questions, um, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them for you. Um, thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!